field in the hands of Denny Hamlin. Kyle Busch under green in Pocono. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmats Race Recap. Let's get right into the 21st race of the season that brought us to Pocono. Great side-by-side -side racing all day. Let's get right into this thing. The front row to start today's race was Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch. With Kyle Busch getting a great jump on the start of the race with everybody else too wide behind him on the start of this thing. With our first caution due to incident coming early in the day on lap 7, the two car of Austin Sendrick spinning out, bringing out the caution. Back to green flag racing, we saw intense three wide racing on the restart with Kyle Larson taking advantage, taking that race lead on lap 14 of the race. With great racing going on throughout the field, we saw some cars make a strategy call, pitting before the end of stage one, trying to gain that track position for the start of stage two. However, as the back half of the top 10 was coming down pit road, we saw a caution come out with three laps to go in the stage, allowing Kyle Larson to win the first stage without a fight. Fortunately for those cars that came down pit road before the end of stage one, this allowed them to jump the rest of the field starting in the front in stage two as the rest of the lead lap cars had to come down pit road under the stage one caution break. Stage two kicking off with four wide racing on the restart, absolutely chaotic with the 77 car of Josh Balecki getting the worst end of it, slamming into the wall hard after breaking something in the rear suspension, bringing out a caution shortly after the restart. And as I say, week after week, cautions breed cautions, and that is exactly what happened. As we had two cautions back-to-back -back shortly after very chaotic restarts that saw Denny Hemlin spin out in the 34 car of Michael McDowell make contact with the 7 car of Corey LaJoy, bringing out a caution. I don't know what it was about these restarts. Everybody was just trying to push way too hard to make it to the front. None of the drivers letting these cautions get to them with their aggressiveness on the restarts with, with Kyle Busch taking advantage of great three wide racing on the restart as he was your new race leader, driving away from the rest of the field. As we then jumped to green flag pit stops starting on lap 56, with most cars putting on four fresh tires and filling their cars full of Sunoco fuel to make it to the end of stage two. With things calming down for the most part at the back half of stage two, as we saw some battles for the lead between Eric Jones and Ryan Blaney, with Eric Jones making the pass for the lead with 21 laps left to go in the stage. Unfortunately for him, he still had to make his green flag pit stop. But wouldn't you know it, he didn't have to make a pit stop under green as we had a caution come out with 12 laps left to go in the stage, the 42 car of Ty Dillon spinning out, bringing out the caution. With Bubba Wallace making an interesting call as he was one of only a few cars not to make a pit stop at all, before the end of stage two, as he led the field back to green to finish the stage. With all the drivers battling hard to get those valuable stage points, we saw Kyle Busch make the pass for the lead on Bubba Wallace rather easily with eight laps left to go in the stage. Driving away from the rest of the field by about a second and a half, winning stage two rather easily. With the first two stages behind us, we strapped ourselves in for a wild finish. As we saw Kyle Busch and Ross Chastain lead the field to green to start the third and final stage. As there was insane three wide racing on the restart, Kyle Busch wanting none of it, trying to drive away from the rest of the field. However, Ross Chastain not letting it happen as the battle for the lead was under a second. As we continue to see action all over the racetrack, unfortunately for Ryan Blaney, who was in fifth place at the time, he popped a tire with 52 laps left to go in the race, having to come down pit road under the green flag, pretty much ending his day for the race win. With the battle for the lead continuing to heat up between Kyle Busch and Ross Chastain, as it continued to be less than a second between the two. With the start of final green flag pit stops quickly approaching, final green flag pit stops starting with 39 laps left to go in the race. Ross Chastain taking the lead away from Kyle Busch as Kyle Busch was the first one of the leaders to come down pit road to make his final green flag pit stop. With the one car of Ross Chastain coming down one lap later, it was going to be a race to see who could make the quicker pit stop. Ross Chastain and his team having the quicker pit stop, which cycled him back to that race lead once everybody made their final green flag pit stop. Jumping right into 25 laps left to go in the race, we saw Ross Chastain still out front with a new second place car in Denny Hamlin. With Denny trying to run him down for that race lead, we all knew the history between these two and it came back to bite Ross Chastain in the end. As we saw the rough luck continue for Ryan Blaney, as he hit the wall hard with 23 laps left to go in the race, bringing out another caution. Going back to green flag racing with 18 laps left to go in the race, we saw Ross Chastain and Danny Hemlin lead the field back to green, with Danny Hemlin pushing Ross Chastain up into the outside wall, causing Ross to spin out, 
bringing out another caution. I think we all know Ross had that one coming. As we lined up for one more restart with 13 laps left to go in the race. Two teammates, Danny Hamlin and Kyle Busch, leading the field back to green on the final restart. With the two door-to-door for that race lead, it looked like they both wanted to win this thing, and they would do it by any means necessary. Danny Hamlin barely holding off his teammate Kyle Busch with five laps left to go in the race as the lead was under half a second. Danny somehow able to hold off the hard-charging Kyle Busch as he was able to get his third race win of the season. I must say congratulations to Danny Hamlin on a hard-fought victory. Picking up his third win on the season, he's certainly one of my favorites to go all the way to win this championship. Well, guys, that was it for a very entertaining Pocono race. Let me know what you thought about the race and today's race winner. Always like, comment, and subscribe. And Matthew and I will see you Tuesday with a Monday Night Raw recap. Peace out. Come on and fight.